A reading from 2 Peter, the third chapter. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done will be disclosed. Since all these things are to be dissolved this way, this way what sort of persons ought you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire. But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. So also our beloved Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom you have given him. Are we there yet? Are you about done? Who hasn't uttered these words when they were frustrated with how long a trip or a task was taking? Patience is often not a virtue when we are in, in anticipation of what is to come, or when we simply want to be done. This is a feeling we can get in the midst of the Advent season as we wait for the arrival of Jesus in the manger. For those familiar words of the angels proclaiming, fear not, to a bunch of shepherds who had every reason to be fearful. The people had been waiting a long time for this proposed and promised savior. Savior. And they were getting tired of the waiting and the watching, the wondering, and when or even if the Messiah was actually coming, or, or if it was another great story that was told from generation to generation. When we get anxious or frustrated with God's timing, we need to stop, take a breath, and remember that God's timing is not our timing. And for that, we should be ultimately thankful. During this season of Advent, try to live into these verses. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of the, our Lord as salvation. So also our beloved brother Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom given him. Beloved, God's timing is perfect, always perfect. We need to hear words of hope and encouragement to remind us that we are never, ever forgotten. So perhaps we live into Advent, the Advent, or the answer to our question of, are we there yet, might actually be, yes, 